So we start this week at Dunstall Park in Wolverhampton, the very first race course I ever visited in 1966. It's one mile and three furlong, nought to 70 handicap. And at the top, carbon fibre for Paul Road, Sky Service Cavalino for David Robertson, Mug Rancher for Craig Beckwith, Initial Fern, Derek Hinton, Marble Arch, Daniel French, Non Fiction, Kevin Minahan, Collil, Jacko, Satyam, Sandra Sagaram, Tintera of Wallant for Padre Hogan, Gunslinger Contact, Thomas Rogers, Multi Blessing, Satyam, Sandra Sagaram, Big Holes, Graham Clutterbuck, Bashanki, Stu Gray, Classic Mode for Alex Cherry, Dewdrop and Fast Rest for Matt Cooper, Ruby Swirl for Alex Cherry, Sovereign for Obi Wan and Zafranga, and more for Thomas Rogers. Huge field on the all weather, away they go, they're racing, if you're drawn wide, you might as well forget it. And it's Marble Arch that's got into the lead. I've got to be honest and say I did have a couple in this and I saw how many runners were in it and I took them out and set them somewhere else. So it's Marble Arch in front from Carbon Fibre in second. And Multi Blessing has now come through to take second place. But Marble Arch has settled down into the lead from Multi Blessing second. Then Carbon Fibre, Ruby Swirl is close up there in third. Then Collil Jacko is after that. Zafranaga de Moore is next. And then Non Fiction Big Horse is after that. And you can see they're extremely well strung out as they come around this turn. And those ones, why they're going to be shuffled even further back as they come around this bend. But Marble Arch is well clear of Multi Blessing in second, Carbon Fibre in third, Ruby Swirl, then Collil Jacker, Zafranaga de Moro, then Non Fiction, Big Horse, Sky Surface, Cavalino, and all the way back to Tin Tinara of Wallant, who's right out the back. And they pass the six furlong pole then, and Marble Arch is clearing the lead from Multi Blessing in second, Carbon Fibre third, then Collil Jacker, and then Zafranaga de Moro after that one. And that's making the significant progress at the moment on the outside there looks like Zafranaga de Moore going to come through to move it a second but it's still Marble Arch in the lead they've got four furlongs still to go they've not another big turn to go around yet and Marble Arch is in the lead from Multi Blessing Zafranaga de Moore Ruby Swords after that one then Collier Jacko non-fiction Big Horse Carbon Fibre there's plenty of these not going to mention not going into it at all but Marble Arch has been in the lead and on the rail all the way and now it completes this Big, long, sweeping bottom turn into the home straight and the field has stretched out like three mile chases and it's Marble Arch who's three lengths clear of non-fiction in second. Then Big Horse, multi blessings Zafra and Argan and more. Collier Jacko's after that one. Inyashal Fern is trying to make some ground and he's now coming through with a bit of a runner inside the final furlong line. Now Big Horse collars Marble Arch but Marble Arch kicks on again. Now absolutely flying up the centre of the track. He's Classic Mode and Classic Mode sweeps into the lead and Classic Mode He's going to take it. Classic mode wins it. Cullihill, Jacko, second Marble Arch, initial firm, multi blessing, Peshaniki, Gunslinger, contact. And. Alex Cherry takes the first race of the week. Well, the Stewards' Inquiry. Oh, I'm surprised at the Stewards' Inquiry, but I'm not going to disqualify that one, are they? From right on the outside, rated 45. <laughs> really? I don't think we've ever had a season where. Horses have been winning races rated 45 before. It's crazy. Anyway, classic mode for Alex Cherry's the winner. Collie Old Jack over Satyam second. Marble Arch Daniel French third. Initial Fern Derek Hinton fourth. Uh, Multi Blessing for Satyam again was fifth.